What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And yesterday Treyarch released all of the changes from the alpha to the beta. And this is pretty much like something you would expect when the game is fully released. This is like a large patch note update kind of informative thing that Treyarch did. There have been tons of changes since the alpha. I'm going to link all this information down in the description. Of course, today we're going to have uh, the beta start here on PS4 for early access. Of course, the open beta starts this weekend. Next weekend, of course, is the cross-platform beta. So leave me a comment. Let me know if you're going to be able to play today or if you're waiting to Saturday to play. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and hop right into this. Like I said, if you want to read over this for yourself, it's going to be down in the description below. There's a lot of information here. I'm going to kind of hit over on the high points of the changes. A lot of this stuff is what people ask for, what the community asked for, what pro players asked for, what casual players asked for. I was really excited to see all this stuff once I started reading into it because Treyarch has done, in my in my mind, an exceptional job just from alpha to beta to change a lot of stuff that people did not like about the game. First thing is core movement. They talked about new animations for walking, jogging, and sprinting. They also slightly increased acceleration when moving from a standstill. They reduced or removed several sprint penalties that could leave players in a state of reduced sprint. Also increased the time it takes to ramp down from maximum to minimum sprint speed for a smoother change of speed. Also, they have kind of adjusted the camera bob during sprinting, and they disabled field of view increase when sprinting. This should provide a smoother in-game view and prevent the floating camera feeling while you are sprinting. Also, when it comes to sliding, they, sli they slightly reduce the slide speed. They addressed an issue that allowed players to cancel a slide without an appropriate slowdown. They said they're going to continue to monitor, monitor and investigate all slide canceling exploits. Slide canceling has been in COD for a while now, for the last several titles. And you don't see it a whole lot in public matches. Some people can take advantage of it. Um, but in the pro scene, a lot of pro player, players just do not like the slide canceling animation because it makes the movement across the map a lot easier. So I'm glad to see that they are changing this for the pro scene. I, I'm glad they're listening to the community. It just plays the game casually, and I'm glad they're listening to, the, like I said, the pro community as well for these changes in game. When it comes to weapons and the gunsmith, they said they added a more detailed breakdown of statistics for each attachment in game. Also, they changed around some of the UI for the gunsmith. They added new uh, weapon recoil system and firing animations for both hip fire and ADS for all weapons. Rework and rebalance on recoil patterns for all weapons across the board. Uh, also, animations across all weapons based on feedback. They have also kind of done a touch-up on that as well. Added a new ADS weapon rendering technology and smoothed out all ADS in and out transitions. Now, when it comes to general weapon, uh, weapon tuning, excuse me, uh, they really didn't talk about anything specifically except the 7-4U and the snipers. They made tuning changes to alpha weapons that outperformed and, of course, underperformed including the 7-4-U. Uh, they added more recoil and ADS time to the 7-4-U, and they also talked about uh, LMG ammo capacity. They've added some more capa uh, ammo capacity to those LMGs. And like I said, that was really the only weapons that they touched on besides the sniper, ri uh, sniper rifles. Sniper rifles now uh, require higher hits on the body. So for example, during the alpha, you could get a one-hit kill to the stomach. Now it's going to be upper chest instead. And also in the alpha, you could get a... Uh, you know, a one hit kill on the upper arm or the lower arm. Now that will be the upper arm instead. So it seems like they have made the one hit kill radius smaller uh, compared to the alpha. They also adjusted the ADS time on sniper rifles. They've also adjusted the glint. So you now can see sniper glint. If somebody is ADSing, you know, from a long range, you will know that the sniper is there. Also, they added aim assist on snipers for controller users for cross platform balancing. This is the first time that a Treyarch game since Black Ops 2 has had, um, of course, aim assist added into the game. I'm going to be kind of interested interested to see how this is going to work out, uh, kind of overall compared to the alpha. When it comes to visuals, they improved graphical fidelity and performance across the board. They adjusted the lighting and character visibility on the map Miami, which was a great thing in my opinion, because Miami is a very cool looking map. But unlike any other Treyarch game or any other map that was in the alpha, you could not see players hardly at all on Miami, so I'm glad to see that this has been changed. The audio team has made several crucial improvements to weapon sounds between the alpha and the beta. They've added more bass uh, kind of sounds to the weapons. They've also added three presets to the audio settings. They've added the Treyarch mix, bass boost, and high boost to suit player preferences. 
Of course, we did have Super Crunch and things like that in the uh, Alpha as well. I'm going to be interested to see what all these different uh, sound settings kind of offer and, you know, kind of what everybody starts to go with, depending on, you know, how well you can hear footsteps and that kind of thing. And they also polished audio across all the maps. Now, when it comes to footsteps, the one thing that I thought was very interesting, of course, in the Alpha was Ninja was back in the game, you know, kind of that dead silence perk. A lot of people were really excited about this. But in the Alpha, you can still hear players when using Ninja. I was using Ninja in the Alpha, and I can still hear my own footsteps. Uh, they've reduced the volume and distance by roughly 50% compared to the Alpha when jogging and walking. So now you won't be able to hear people as far as you could in the Alpha, uh, you know, with, when they are using Ninja. But ADS walking will also provide a significant stealth advantage when using uh, Ninja. The one thing that I thought was interesting, crouch walking now functions as a near silent movement option available to all players with or without the ninja perk equipped. So if you are crouch walking and you not have the ninja perk on, you still are going to be pretty much almost completely silent. And also ADS crouch walking now makes player footsteps audio even quieter. Enemies should not hear the player when crouching outside of extreme close quarters. Now when it comes to dead silence, I think you should be able to hear people. Um, I don't think people should be completely silent. I think you should be able to hear someone that's using dead silence that's running up on you when they're very close. But I'm glad that they made these tuning changes to not allow you to hear players at great distances. Also, they changed the way some of the score streak audio sounds. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be a little bit quieter, a little bit louder. From the, what my understanding is the audio for several score streaks was published. They did reduce the volume of the spy plane and locational pings. Also, they kind of revamped the score streak system. So now if you're playing Domination Kill Confirmed Hardpoint, objective score rewards have been increased. So if you're playing the objective, you're going to get more points for playing that objective. Also, redu reduce the sc uh, score streaks cool uh, cooldowns to offset these changes and allow players to cycle through score streaks more often. And they adjusted the score streak rewards to reduce score streak spam and make score streaks more rewarding. Players will now need to go on a higher streak in a single life to earn top tier streaks. I will say during the alpha, it was pretty easy to get a chopper gunner. I'm going to be curious to see now exactly how far you have to go into that streak in one life before you die, before you can get those higher streaks. I did feel like people were getting them a little bit too often, so maybe that has calmed some of that down as well. They also have readjusted some of the spawns on the 6v6 maps to make you feel like you're getting back into the action a little bit quicker. Also, they uh, tuned the tanks in-game, uh, they reduced the health, and they reduced the deadliness of the tanks' shells' splash damage. Also, several bug fixes, and of course, what I talked about yesterday in the video about some of the changes they're bringing to the settings, the FOV slider, the new ping system, the HUD visual uh, kind of options, so you can change, you know, all the different things on the HUDs, so you can have less things or more things on your HUD. They've also changed the way dead zone and many uh, minimum input thresholds will uh, kind of work. Uh, kill confirm score limit, start spawn soft freeze, and some of the progression uh, systems across multiplayer zombies and war zone that deserve its own time in the spotlight and will have more details in a dedicated blog as they get closer to launch. They don't really want to talk about too much of the progression system right now. But anyway guys, like I said, this was almost like patch notes from a game that is already released, not really something from an alpha to a beta. So I was really impressed with what Treyarch has done here to change up everything Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Are you excited to get in uh, to playing the beta this weekend here on PS4? Of course, early access does start today. The open beta does start Saturday. Um, but just leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Are, are, you, are you looking forward to the beta now that you've heard about all these changes? I know a lot of this stuff was a lot of things the community was complaining about. And I was really happy to see Treyarch listening to the community and go ahead and, and just going ahead and making these changes in the beta, not waiting until a day one patch once the game was released. Anyway, guys, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description. GT Racing, of course, they are the affiliate here on the channel. Uh, my Twitter and, of course, the uh, community Discord is also linked down there in the description. So if you'd like to check any of that stuff out, I would appreciate it. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.